Hello Queens and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing another Chat with Queen episode. You guys seem to have really liked the videos where you guys like to watch me just flow in my yoga practice. So I just figured I would just talk with you guys a little bit um, while you guys see me actually flow and see where I have actually grown in some places on my yoga journey. Um, you know, for the most part, we're going to start out by definitely cleansing ourselves with either some sage or some palo santos like you see me doing here. And I'm simply just going to just start getting right into my flow. I always make sure that I stay hydrated. That's really been a big part to us being on a part of this yoga journey because it's not just about the actual yoga practice of just going into the asanas. It's also about the yoga flow of life as well. So... I started reading this book, you guys, and it's called The Seven Spiritual Laws of Yoga, and um, I'll leave the author's name across here on the screen, and I started reading that book probably like a month ago, and I had heard of it a while ago, and it really helped me um, a lot these past few months, actually, because I've had the book actually like a couple months now, and I've just really enjoyed it. Now that I'm talking with you guys, I've remembered about this book and how it's actually influenced my yoga practice as well. Because um, it includes seven mantras for each day of the week for you to recite in the morning and in the afternoon. And um, in the Sanskrit version, as well as in the English text. And it's really, really helpful in just keeping you mindful and present of your flow and how you move throughout your day-to-day -day life because as you guys know um I have not been working for technically the last eight months and if you hear like it sounds like I'm echoing I'm in a room I'm sorry about that but yeah so it's been about eight months now but honestly and truthfully I've been blessed I've been blessed I've been healthy I haven't starved I haven't been homeless I haven't been a lot of things that a lot of people can be and so once I started actually recognizing these things and you guys this isn't the first time this that this has happened to me I mean people you know have things happen in their lives and so this is the second time but not at this capacity I should say it's been kind of different because with looking for work and with me now doing what I do now as YouTube and you know with me pretty much bringing you guys inspirational and motivational content for you to incorporate into your life and with me just sharing my journeys and what I actually go through on a day-to-day -day life I feel like it's actually not just helped myself but also you guys too and it's also helped me to realize some things within myself that I need to change that I need to let go that I need to stop trying to have so much control over and with me and my personality I'm just the type of person I just like to have security I like to just be in control of my surroundings and just knowing that I'm okay and so when things change unexpectedly and then you're having to just learn to go with the flow of things it can be so hard at times but you learn too in that being resistance it only creates more pain so when you begin to go with the flow of life and you just start to appreciate where you are what you have and you just start to just look at things and how you can try to make the best of the of the situation at this present moment it actually helps you to just carry on through. It helps you to just let go of whatever it is that you may have been holding on to, any kind of regrets or questions or doubts or fears, because things will happen to you in your life that will make you question yourself and make you just wonder if what you are doing is actually the right thing or, you know, if maybe you may have fucked up. <laughs> so that's just life. And so when I came across this book again, um, the seven spiritual laws of yoga it really started helping me a lot you guys and not just with this book it's just also to just praying more um as well as journaling you guys know I love to journal now like I've really gotten back into that because like I've told you guys before when I was younger as a child I used to write poetry I used to just journal all the time and it's just really re-sparked something in me and I just am so happy that I'm starting to revisit these things that are actually helping me to get through with what I'm going through right now and so even with my yoga practice it helps you to learn how to just let go and to just go with the flow do not force your body into anything that it does not want to do and when you just start to just listen to yourself into your inner intuition your inner guidance you'll actually start to see that things start to just flow naturally a lot smoother it's not like 
you're having to fight against anything. It's no resistance because you're just going with the flow. And it's the same thing with people. You start to just start to accept people for who they are because you can't change things. You can't make people do what you want them to do either. And you are only in control of your actions. And I had to learn that as well. I cannot be accountable for other people and what they decide to do either to me to other people or whatever the case may be now if I can be a positive change in some way then yes I'm going to do that but you cannot be responsible for other people's actions but your own and so once you start to realize that and realize that every action every decision that you make in this present moment will have some kind of consequence or recourse later on down the line you will start to be more conscious of what it is that you're doing in your life and what you're doing with yourself with the ones that you love and the things that you do and you'll start to realize that some things that you're doing is not out of the act of love it's out of somewhere else that's not even something that's a part of you and so during this time honestly it has really just forced me to really have to look at myself again and I feel like we all go through moments in life where we have to slow down and literally look at yourself again and be like okay have you kind of fallen off track have you lost sight of really what it is that you're wanting to do or what it is that you're wanting to go towards now versus what it was that you were actually, you know, having a taste for about five or 10 years ago? Things change in your life. And when you don't want to adhere to that necessary change in your life, then you start to cause resistance. It starts to cause pain. And I mean, conflicts, I mean, just all kinds of drama that you don't want in your life. And so when you just learn to go with the flow of life, it really does help things to go a lot smoother. And when you start to also um, take responsibility for your actions, you know, I mean, hey, that's just what it is. You have to own up to it sometimes. And we don't want to have to look at ourselves and be like, yeah, you fucked up. You did that this time. But it's all okay. We all grow. We are all human. We are all here <laughs> having a human being experience. I mean, literally. And I just wanted to just come on here and just share that with you guys. Like, I've literally just been going with the flow of life. I cannot force anything. I've learned that, you know, that I can just only do the best that I can in this very moment and just give it 100%. I can just give it my all to just let go and to just stop trying to just be so necessarily in control because when you just try to just always be in control of things it's something else that you're like possibly running from because why are you trying to have so much control over something when it should just happen naturally and that's how it feels the same thing like even just creating friendships it's just even with the people that you associate with it's just everything in your life like every action every decision that you decide to make it has some form of consequence and so just being out of love acting out of love and just trying to just you know just be in love it just helps things a lot more it helps you just be able to eat into a lot think a lot of things a lot easier it'll help you to forgive people a lot quicker too it'll help you as well to just not hold on to things or beat yourself up when you don't reach certain goals or certain things that you just wanted to attain that you may not have necessarily attained yet like you have to just necessarily just let go and let God like you have to surrender to the will of God to go within to seek and find what it is within you so that way you can start to go with the natural flow of life because that's just necessarily that's just what it is and you just can't just try to just be so in control of things you can't control what's going to happen you can do what you can do yes everyone has control over their lives but you can't control everything is what i'm saying because in trying to do that you will drive yourself crazy and this time around it's just really just been a lot easier for me and i just thank god for that and i just thank the people that are so supportive of me my family my loved ones my girlfriend alexa like y'all you have to have people around you who really have the same kind of morals and values that you have because when you're going through things or when you're trying to just shift through to a new level you need those people who are going to help you to elevate and to motivate you and to reassure you and just not for their reassurance but just for people who just really support you and who genuinely, genuinely want to see the best for you and that's just really what it is and so I hope this video encourages you guys to just start to go with the flow of life. You know that whatever you're going through, it will pass. 
He will not put more on you than you can bear. And it's all going to work out for the greater good. We're all here for a higher purpose. We all have a set mission. And we will fulfill it if we just decide to just let go, surrender to the will of God, and <laughs> decide to just go with the flow of life. Because tomorrow's not promised, so you can only do what you can today. So I hope this video helps someone. I love each and every one of you guys. If you want more of these videos, comment down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and definitely make sure to subscribe. All right, you guys. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today, queens. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, queens.